Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we have about 12 Hi Ilva I I didn't mean to look at you here We've got about 12 years to go at this point before we turn 71 and 71 will be an incredibly important birthday for us assuming we live that long If we don't awkwardness will ensue So there's that So we could expand a little bit here The question is to what end if we look at our vassal count, we're at 39 out of 40, and we're pretty much done making our duchies at this point, so we can't really compress our vassal count too much more for right now. I think there are a couple that we could deal with over here. Yeah, and we did lose this. So there is that. But all things considered, what else do we have to do? For expansion not a whole lot is the answer and the reason why that's the answer is because we can't have kings under us we are ourselves a king we are a kingdom tier realm and that's a bit of a problem just wanted to double check our succession make sure that that was all good to go it does appear to be so at this point we need to take forward for a decent chunk of time I should have just paid for those glasses, honestly. That would have been the better way to do it. But alas, I didn't. I, I definitely should have. I'm just checking through all of these. I believe there's only the one city that's not currently maxed. And that's this one here. And now it is maxed. So there is that. Well, it will be once it finishes that construction anyway. We can't build any of these. And we're currently working a little bit on getting our tech up to date. So we're going to have Banis in about eight years here. That's fine. So honestly, it feels like we mostly just need to chill. We could do a little bit of raiding. That's an option. We are going to get a scholarship focus very soon here, which will help out our battlements. Which would be really nice to have. So we're going to grab scientific for that 35% cultural fascination progress. Wonderful. And that now means that battlements will be done in 30 years. Okay. It's going to be a while. But that's fine. So we're probably just going to be a little bit chill here right now. We could speed forward on speed 5. That is an option. Um, and I'm, I'm strongly considering it. How long on our truce on this guy? Because I would like to get back Sicily. That'd be awfully nice. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, it, it wouldn't be the worst thing. The Byzantines are losing this, which is hilarious that they even have it to begin with. Hold on a moment. Why do you exist? We're going to get rid of this guy. Okay. Let's go ahead and raise up our troops here. How many are we going to need? Not many is the answer. They have like 2,800 troops and they're all the way over here. Hilarious. Honestly, this is enough. We're going to go in. A book artifact, huh? What do we get? Hey, heroic sagas. So we can display that in our court. Let's go ahead and do so. Uh, we also could put up some ornaments, I suppose. Skull of the Mighty Stag, and we can equip another one over here, Height of the Great Boar, and we can put our Heroic Saga over here too. Cool. So we'll get that all done, and there's an unhandled situation here as well. Um, no, I'm not going to allow a cult to rummage through our court. Get out of here. Cool. Might gain a learning lifestyle perk. Let's see what we get. Hmm, 46% chance of 100 experience. We'll roll it. Eluded us. Sad. 71%. Clarified. Cool. And a learning lifestyle perk. Excellent. So with that, we'll grab, I don't know, probably, uh, I, I don't actually care about either of these, but we'll grab plant cultivation. That'll be fine. They're going to walk in on us and just immediately die. Okay. 
I'm not sure that that's a good plan, but there they go. And we'll continue our siege. Now, I'm going to leave behind our siege force here, and we're going to go chase them. We're going to head out over this way, and let's give a siege commander here. There we go. I don't know where they're retreating to, but it's over this. Sounds good. Now, where are they going? We need to cut them off over this way and make sure that we're remaining between them and our siege force. There we go. Got him. And that should be fine. That's a stack wipe. 50% war score. And this siege will end the war. It was always going to end the war because they're only a single county, but that'll be fine. We do have an empty council position. We need a spy master. This guy's very good at the job. We'll put him in. And there we go. War is over. So that du jour war is done, and we'll disband our troops. Cool. Apparently, he was just vassalized by that. Interesting. Definitely not what I intended there, or anticipated, even. But that does put us at our vassal cap, so we will continue to chill, I guess. We could raise a runestone. I think there's no reason not to. We might as well. Cool. Selling trivial titles. We could... I think there's not a reason to do that right now, but we can definitely hold court. So let's go ahead and do so. We'll hear our petitioners. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so that they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn toward mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners, lined up in, in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. We'll gesture for the first line to approach. A peasant woman stands before me, informing the court of her plea. The recent war took a toll on the countryside, and we're not sure who the culprit was, but they looted an important cultural site to us Anglo-Saxons from St. Albans. Please, we beseech you, spare some of your resources so we can see it restored. The peasant ends her request with a clumsy bow, a clear indicator of her lowborn status. So we could definitely do that. 300 gold is not a problem. Do it. The whole throne room falls silent as my vassal, Count Sorkvir, enters triumphantly, followed by two struggling servants who are dragging a chained bear. Smiling proudly, Sorkvir ex exclaims, My lord, I present you a gift worthy of the mightiest ruler in the world. Hey, that's me. This magnificent beast was hunted in the forest of Foggia, and now I offer it to you as a symbol of my devotion and your unparalleled power. So we could make it into a carpet. Okay. I don't really care too much about that. A pet monster for 10 years. That would gain us some dread. Do it. What could possibly go wrong? And maybe now we can feed people to the to the to the monster? That would be nice. <laughs> Before the court is underway, my chancellor pulls me aside. You're a little late, bud. You're like the last in line, just for the record. To my surprise, he is brandishing a garish sash. My lord, there will be so many attending your court. I know you're somewhat challenged in remembering every face and from whence it hails. I propose a solution. We require all at the court to wear dress, which includes local style recognizable to all. He foists an earring at me. For those without clear regional fashions, I have taken the liberty of hiring a tailor who can suggest some new traditional garb for them to wear. Well, honestly, we'll just get ourselves an outfit. Cool. We're at Court Grandeur level 9 currently, and that's kind of wild considering that uh, we're not very high up on our court amenities here. We could consider raising those, actually. If we were to raise this up to here? Hmm. How much would this end up costing if we take this all the way up? With all of our amenities maxed, we'd only be at uh, court grandeur level 9. That's a little bit insane to me. Honestly, I think I don't care too much about it at this moment. We'll leave it where it's at. I don't care about our, our court for the moment. We're on a warlike court. That's fine. And our court language is Norse. 
Sounds good to me. Okay, so there's that done. Let's see if we lost anything else. No. Doesn't look like it. Cool. We could definitely go raiding. That wouldn't be the worst of ideas. Oh, of course they'll be there. Um, I, I do want to get rid of our special soldiers. We only have 49 of them left. So there is that. What happens if we were to just raise these? Make them raid. And then come up here and raid with just 49 troops. We don't have sufficient troops to raid. That makes me sad. Okay, we're going to have to raise our men-at-arms as well. And I'll raise a few levy troops too. How many overall are we going to want? Probably sub 10k. It would be ideal. Uh, that's probably not sub 10k, but that'll do. Uh, we want these guys to be raiding. There we go. Let's head on in. Okay. We are currently ill. We're a little brighter. We would like to survive until we're 71. That's another 10 years. Do we have any decisions that could help that? Um, searching for a physician, but I think we already have one since we were just treated. We're in poor health right now. Could we get a deity that would increase our health? Fertility. Okay. So, no. There is something that we can do in the scholarship focus, though. We can go down whole of body. And that is something that I think we are probably interested in doing. So, we're going to head up here, continuing to loot the Papal States. Excellent. The Pope is rather upset at us, I'm sure. But it'll be fine. We get a lot of gold from this. And I'm completely comfortable with it. We're no longer ill, and that is good. So I think we'll definitely go down the whole of body tree. I think that's very, very clear. And when are we going to get that next perk? Five months? Sure. So we'll just raid our way through the uh, papacy here. And we're going to want to dismantle the papacy, likely, a little bit later on. But for right now, I'm mostly interested in surviving until we're 71. That is our primary goal at this moment. So I want to check in on our... Let's see, our court positions here. Okay. So this is our current court physician. Has been in service for 33 years. Sounds good. We could boost her opinion of us. There we go. She's only average in aptitude. Nope, stay here. Only average in aptitude, which isn't ideal. But that's fine. Translating book, huh? Do it. Let's give it a go. Hey, there's our learning perk. We're going to grab anatomical studies. Treat treatments have better outcomes would be nice. Um, carefree would reduce our stress gain. Wash your hands would be a good one to take. That would definitely be a good one. So I think that's going to be our next target for that. And we'll see if we manage to successfully translate this book or not. Hmm. We'll try it. Okay, we, we failed it, but that's okay. The quality remained unchanged. And then I think we'll just uh, raid our way back this way. Like, we're going to be wanting to head back fairly soon, I suspect. But I definitely do want to get some work done on that translation. That would be absolutely nice. That's going to take attrition because it's inland. Yeah, that's to be expected. Okay. Oh, yikes. Yikes. That is a different county. Okay. I, I expected these to all be the same county for whatever reason. 
I don't really have an explanation for that. Okay, uh, significant translation quality increase. We'll go ahead and do that. Our stress is doing okay. I'm not concerned about our stress at this moment. Okay. So we're just raiding our way back. This will continue to take casualties. That is expected. Okay, that's going to take casualties as well. I think we'll just head home. Cool. Not too concerned about doing any of these right now. At the moment, that's not a huge concern at all. But that was a solid raid. There we go. Okay. Translation quality could improve significantly for another 50 stress. That's fine. Because we can always just go on a hunt. Done. Fantastic. And we'll lose a little bit of stress that way. Hmm. We're craven and ambitious. That's unfortunate. But there's a stress level there. And we could be reclusive. That'll be fine. No problem. And we return home, and we will immediately start a feast. But we're... Actually, we don't lose out on that. That's interesting. We're going to grab Wash Your Hands. Welcome, friends. I was expecting, because we're reclusive now, to not lose as much stress. But it was fine. Now these things happen. It wasn't my favorite piece. Demand artifact. We decline. Oh my. So we have the option to murder someone. This guy. Or we could deflect the knife. Do we really care about this guy getting murdered? Not particularly. We'll dive straight to cover. Okay. Our friend died, and that caused us to get 50 stress. I didn't realize he was our friend. That does have an effect on the landscape. Okay. Until next time. So our stress is pretty high, but we did get the extra perk, so that's always great. We don't have any armor or crown available. Diamond studs, huh? Cool. Okay, and the uh, weakness that plagued our daughter has gone away. That's nice. Cool. So we're currently 63 right now. And we need to go until we are 71. For the time being, since we're mostly just chilling, I'm going to bump it up to speed 5. And we'll just go as quick as we can through this. Because we can't really expand. Well, we can. But it would be problematic for us to do so. Reformation, sure. I'm surprised there hasn't been another crusade. Actually, now that I think about it. Maybe the Pope can't afford it because we've been stealing all of his gold. The Pope can afford it. <laughs> and we died of old age at 64. Okay. So it's going to have to be this guy then. That's unfortunate. But it's going to have to be this guy that gets that all put together. Wait a second. We had a brother that I didn't even notice. Okay. We're going to have to reconquer England. And it's going to be awkward. I have a potential better idea. We are his heir. I was definitely not expecting to die of old age there at 64. That was unfortunate. I was also, I didn't notice that this guy was, hang on, he's got a severe penalty to his health. He's very sickly. I think we just kill him. This is fine. Unfortunately, they took most of our power with them. And there's this Northumbrian claim war that we're currently in. 
what happens with this? Okay. Let's raise up all of our troops here. We don't have a ton, but we have enough to deal with this. And hopefully that will get us our territory back. But yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting to die there. That's for sure. So we're going to come up over here and fight these guys. And we're unsurprised that there's a disillusion faction here. Hmm. You're dead? Okay. There's also... Actually, that's the only faction that's really a big deal right now. So we're going to head up over here and try to eliminate these guys. And we should see our brother killed quite soon. Okay. Now, can, do we have to cap this back? Yes, we do. Okay. So this disillusion faction would be a problem if they actually succeeded. They're unlikely to at this time. There's this going on over here, which is awkward for us. But we're going to finish up this siege. And that was just generally awkward timing. No doubt about it. We're going to come down here and fight these guys. I want to eliminate them. There we go. No problem. We got some level of fame, which is always good. And what do we want to do about this guy? Disillusion would be a problem. We could send him some gold. But yeah, I didn't realize that we had a additional heir born right before we died there. That was my own fault, but it was definitely not noticed. Okay, so how powerful will this guy be? Not tremendously. Okay. Unfortunately, our brother took, like, everything. <laughs> Which is very awkward. But we'll get it back. Okay. So we're not going to let this be dissolved. This is fine. It is time. See it done, whatever the price. Boom. Okay. And just like that, we have our territory back. Fantastic. Now, this guy is suddenly in a lot worse of a situation. Because we can just come over here and raise all of our troops here. And I want to check over here. We... This got handed out. That's unfortunate. We're going to work on swaying this guy, I think. Wait, who is this? Our vassal. Right. We're going to work on swaying this guy for a while. And we'll just let that go. Um, otherwise... I mean, we're at five of four right now. What is our... We're on learning focus. I'm going to bump over to stewardship, and I don't suppose we have a university. No, I don't think we do. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to raise up these troops over here. And we're going to come in over this way and fight this guy as soon as we have what I feel like is sufficient troops. And there we go. That'll be good. We're going to finish up this siege here. And let's see. What else do we have going on here? Catholic populists. This is unsurprising. But we'll need to wrap up some of these other wars. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to split these guys. We're going to move out our onagers and these levies. They're going to come up here and siege this back with a siege commander. We'll see what happens here. It looks like we're actually going to lose that probably because of the terrain we're fighting on. Yeah. Terrain and troop quality. That's okay. So, we do need a Chancellor. That will be this guy. We need a Steward. That will be this guy. Marshal and Spymaster. There we go. And we're going to hire in... We could actually hire this Holy Order, can't we? Not quite. Okay. We could, however, get some Mercs. Like, say, these guys. Okay. Where are we retreating to? Sure. For now, that's fine. So we'll head on over there. And we're going to fight these guys here. 
no problem there. We're going to turn around these guys and group all of them together over here. The Disillusion faction is kind of the most threatening faction here. So we're going to come on over this direction. I'm not too concerned about this other war as long as this siege gets finished. That would be the goal. We're going to fight these guys here. That was not actually the Disillusion faction that we caught there. Okay, they're running away over this way. Sounds good. We came of age, and uh, we are an indulgent wastrel, which is not helpful. But I guess that's okay for now. We do require a spouse. We need a stewardship spouse here. Hmm. Skill 16. Okay. Not super happy about that one, but it'll do. Okay, we just discovered Banis. That's nice. Um, I just... Clicked right through that. I didn't intend to do that. We dropped down to Autonomous Vassals. Okay, we'll get that boosted back up once we have the Prestige. That's not a big deal. Okay, this war is over. We will end that. Then we're going to come down here with this force and begin a siege up over here. Okay, we're actually at 83%, and those guys are going to fire. That's fine for the moment. That's commanded by a captain. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. 33? 33. Okay. We're going to try to fight this Merc Force here. Let's go on in. That'll stack wipe. That puts us at 90%. Now the rest of their forces are here. Which I don't necessarily love. We're going to need to deal with this. Our heir is unmarried. Um, Our sister. Right. For now, that's fine. We're going to grab Stewardship, Lifestyle Focus, and Domain Focus here. That will allow us to pull back one of these castles. And that will be this one. Well, actually, we can't pull that one back. Unless this guy would allow it. But we need limited crown authority for that. So we can't actually do that. We'll hold off on that for the moment. Okay. So he's embarking here. How long will this siege take? Five months, in theory. Okay. I'm going to split off our onagers, and we're going to split off these levies again. We're going to move these guys off over here and put in a siege commander. But these guys can come back around. Okay, they're actually over here. That's convenient for us. That allows us to embark here and come fight them and deal with it that way. I like it. That's good. Then we can come up here and deal with that. The Dissolution War is no longer valid. He died. Okay, that's even better. So now we're going to make our way over this way. Beautiful. So we fight these guys. They're going to pile in, but they're too late. And there we go. That war is over. Well, that was certainly exciting. <laughs> awkward succession is awkward, but we got there in the end. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to see about getting all of this put together under a high kingdom, but that's going to be in like 30 years. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.